especially with how many tools Lucas has just to mm -hmm. mess with him off stage and his uh, his setups. So, yeah, it's a pretty exploitable recovery that Snake has, and when you have a character with as much airspeed as Lucas has, combined with some of the disjoints on aerials and a lot of the pressure with not only PK Thunder but an occasional PK Freeze and PK Fire off stage, that that just translates into a bad time. Yeah. And he's got some really good disjoints to deal with Snake Grenade as well, mm -hmm. so he doesn't have to accidentally hit it and blow up for it. But speaking of disjoints, Valadin's Lucina has that in spades as we move on to Game 1 on the Peach's Castle variant of Battlefield. Yeah, so historically this matchup is mostly in Lucina's favor, mm -hmm. but I believe Left from Mars has had a lot of Lucina, uh, sortie practice in general, especially in Smash Ultimate, with how, how well he's improved so far. Well, with how frequently he attends Hollywood Action Tuesdays, you'd hope that he'd have practice against this character. Yeah, and looks like he's really exploiting Vladin's, uh, Vladin's need to want to use his disjoint. And, ooh, not able to tech the down air there, but gets the bounce off of the ledge. And rather importantly, didn't get the spike hitbox, actually got the stage spike hitbox of the down air instead. And I think if he was able to get the sweet spot, that would have been the end of Muffin's first dock. Muffin from Mars just... Ooh, wow. Very dangerous uh, air dodge. And if Valadin had reacted a little bit earlier, he could have gotten an F smash. Holding out for the back air there. Muffin's not going to give it to him. And I'm surprised he actually didn't go for the grab after the down tilt hit the shield. Nice fair. Catching him on the double jump on the recovery there. Valadin with about a stock lead. Only 68% taken. Still looking to continue this. Dancing Blade might as well be a three-hit combo at this point because the fourth hit does not hit that consistently on anyway. I mean, you pretty much have to pick your option pretty early, and with the amount of frames you have to react to it, it's just a blind guess yes. most of the time. All right, uses the side magnet to turn himself around and tries to get back to stage with the snake. It gets pushed back off with Aladdin's ledge trapping looking really immaculate right now. Ooh, grabs him straight out of the dash. I like the reverse Dolphin Slash. I'm not sure if that was intentional, but it did get the kill for Valadin. Muffin able to land with an air, unable to convert off of the down tilt. He definitely is trying to kill him with an F tilt here, but he's angling it downwards, therefore it's not able to get the hitbox he wants. Very nice, gets an air. Ooh, charge F Smash on shield, not gonna be able to do anything. Very smartly not using the shield after getting hit by the F Smash. Oh my god, catches him on the tech in place with the F smash. Valadin taking a really convincing game one. Impressive display from Valadin there. A three stock after that check chase with the F smash. That barely took over two minutes. Yeah, Valadin is a really good player when it comes to exploiting the momentum of the game. Mm -hmm. Once you give him the momentum of the game, he'll continue to build on it until it's unbelievably late. Yeah, you give, him an, you give him an inch, he takes a mile. You can really see the way he plays. He goes for extensions about 80% or more of the time. He doesn't reset to neutral too often when he doesn't have the option. He makes it feel like you have no options. Right. There, there are so many times where you definitely could get out of one of his combos, but it just he just covers a lot of things so smartly. All right, trying to land with a back air on the shield, gets hit with a jab instead as it whips. All right, just holding center stage once more and goes back with a double fair. Very nice, getting another landing back air and tries to get, oh! Not able to get the fair after the Dancing Blade one there. PK Thunder 2 to just rocking himself off of the ledge. Don't want to be put in your own corner. All right, PK Freeze not going to connect with with Vlad in there. And again, landing with the back air doing wonders for Vlad in here. Dolphin Slash out of shield going to be the first stock on from Muffin. Very good awareness. He was trying to trying to uh, hit his shield a lot more with down tilt, and in between those down tilts, he was able to get his frame one invincibility from Dolphin Slash. And that PK Fire going to snipe him on the come down. Impressive for Muffin. You could really see the way he was adapting to some of those recovery patterns using that jump at sort of the mid timing rather than going early or late. 
Very nice punish off of the parry, getting, I believe it was double dash attack. Uh, no, it was probably F, F till dash attack. And Vladin going in hard, knowing he can do that with Lucina, getting him with a fair at a decent percent too. Muffin from Mars is using down to a little bit too much on Vladin here. Uh, especially in tandem with each other. She used it in more moderation, but that down smash is going to catch him on the tip of Dolphin Slash there. Yeah, knew that he had already used a jump, expended it wisely to avoid... Oh my goodness, actually wow, in the PK freeze. Alright, gotta watch out for that shield now. Alright, gets the parry on the first PK fire, not gonna get on the second. Very nice extension from the landing fair there. Crosses up shield with Nair, but that's gonna lead to another string of fares from Vladin. Alright, another fair to catch him on the neutral getup. He's gonna get the roll. Yes, he does. Gets him with the turnaround grab. Oh, back air into fair. Not gonna get the sweet spot. Gets him with a PK Thunder 1. Heal the Dolphin Slash back before the down smash can come Ooh. out. He tried to land with a back air there and extended his hurt box into the, into the F smash there. Yeah, well earned sip of the drink there from Valadin. You could tell that a lot of those tech chases and some of the hard read forward smashes, he doesn't go for them often, but when he does, he converts. Alright, Muffin from Mars. I, I actually wonder what Valadin is banning for Muffin from Mars to opt to, to these final destination stages. It's a good question. Lucina is a character that does benefit from at least central platforms. Yeah. Uh, so I have to imagine Smashville might be gone, but I don't know what else. Yeah, he seems to want to stay on FD forms, or at least stages with, with like, no platforms. Uh, uh, less platforms than normal, I should say. Mm -hmm. uh, oh, might be, he might be banning Kalos, which, where there's survivability, and probably Town and City, where it turns into, into like, an FD sorts, uh, not FDs. Uh, has some beneficial platforms for recovering when he needs it. Interesting. That's going to prompt the character switch to Mario from Valadin. One, All right. Valadin does have a Mario last time I actually saw. So, and like his Lucina, it's very momentum based. But now that he has strings and combos, it's a little bit more oppressive. He also has uh, Flood. To screw with Mars if he needs to. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there's no platforms to extend up air ladders on top of this stage, but what you do get in exchange for that is just the added ability to catch Lucas's landing options. Yeah, and Lucas is one of the many characters who has a lot of trouble just landing. Mm -hmm. Mario, one of those characters who also just benefits from people who just can't land. No, okay, not able to get him on the neutral get up there with the up smash. That was very, very ballsy from Muffin from Mars. Reverse up smash though. Muffin, I think he would have been safe if the up smash came out in the opposite direction, but, or at least he might have been alive. Uh, I, I'm not sure. Uh, Muffin from Mars was at a really uh, high percent here. But he's going to go for the PK Thunder 1 Gimp and force him into the down smash. Going to get him on the third hit and PK, Thun uh, PK Fire not going to connect. Able to make it back, but only into the aerial from Muffin, reads the jump perfectly. Alright, tries to get him uh, with a down tilt it seems, but gets punished for it for a full jab. Fair, there we go. Vladin gonna get him with a back air, but very nice tech from Muffin from Mars. Another PK fire. Actually, huh, I wonder why he didn't down throw. Landing there, but Vladin able to break out. Alright, very nice landing up air and tries again with with the snake. Not gonna be able to connect and that up smash gonna connect the second time around. Takes the opportunity to charge the flood as well. Here we go with that up throw down air. Ooh, very very nice. Catches him on the fair with with the snake rope oh uh, rope snake. Oh, another fair. Is he gonna go for a third? Second. <laughs> 
I mean, when you're that high and when you're facing a character such as Lucas, you can pretty much make it back from the blast zone. Another? Oh, third? Oh, okay. Not gonna get it this time. Very nice. Holding on to his resources to continuously punish Muffin. Oh! What a back air. And that actually trades, but works out in Muffin's favor. Still 111% down. When Muffin is off stage, I'm actually surprised he's not using Psy Magnet to absorb some some of the fireballs that Mario's been throwing out, uh, that Valada has been throwing out. Jumps into the back throw. PK Freeze is going to be just halted early. That was that was actually a good call from Vala uh, from Muffin. He opted for a a better ledge guard. Uh, I think a more consistent ledge guard, but he wasn't able to get it in that moment as he did it way too early. Ooh, not able to get the uh, the sweet spot of F tilt again. Vladin continuing to face backward knows that he wants either the back air or reverse up smash, so Muffin has to play around that. Ooh, catches him pressing a button, gets him with a reverse up smash. Very nice call out from Vladin. Three times in one game as well. Vladin completes the 3-0 and moves on into grand finals.